shocked the heck out of me. <laughs> they I'm always shock. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily, if you're new here. And we just got Starbucks. I think I'm gonna switch copies. Oh uh, yeah, he wants mine. So, okay, we're just gonna like dive right into the video today. No need for like crazy introductions, so. I just got a new Starbucks drink that I've never had before. I was on the Starbucks app, they like updated it, it looks so different, and I was like going through the syrups and I saw funnel cake as a syrup and I was like, Excuse me? What the heck is funnel cake syrup? <laughs> so I looked it up and apparently they have like a funnel cake strawberry like frappuccino. And so I was like, okay, I don't think this is gonna taste like strawberry. It should just taste like funnel cake and it does. It it's like would you say it's like buttery? Like I think it's like a doughy it's, like, it's just good hard Wait, to describe get a sip. i feel I'll like describe it. so i did two pumps of funnel cake syrup you do have to like pay 50 cents per pump so i didn't do tons um but i feel like if you did that with like a white mocha and like that or something it could be fire it's hard because you also did like classic in it i did mm -hmm. i did not know that I did not mean to do that. Okay. So I'm trying to decipher between well, the two. Well, you know? that, yeah, I did two pumps classic and this, so oops, I didn't know that. Their new app is like really hard for me to navigate. Okay. Yeah, I do have classic. How do you even here. describe the flavor of like a funnel cake though, you know? It's just kind of like sweet. To me, it's doughy. Like... So funnel cakes to me aren't that sweet. The powdered sugar is, yeah. but funnel cakes are like doughy. But this is sweet. I don't know. It's just kind of like, it does taste like smooth and buttery almost. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I recommend trying it. If you like like frappuccinos and all that stuff, they have a strawberry like funnel cake one. It reminds me almost of like the chestnut praline where it's like, has like a nutty it's like It's very much like chestnut light. praline. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, today is a great day because a few things are going on. The Woman in the Window is a book I read. I'm sure some of you guys have read it. It was like a best-selling book. It's now a movie on Netflix today. Came on today. And so we're gonna watch that tonight. So we are on the way to the warehouse. Like we're parked right now, but we're going to the warehouse because we're gonna do some shipping and I think we're going to go live too and try and like pack orders as you guys place them. So we'll see, I don't know, maybe we won't get orders, I'm not sure. But we thought we would do that. And I wanna like update inventory, so we're gonna do some warehouse stuff. And Fingers crossed we should have new stickers coming today in this vlog because they were supposed to come yesterday and then they didn't. So they should come today and we're gonna make dinner tonight. It's just gonna be like a good day. It's Friday, it's already 12.45 though, so it is kind of late. We, all morning, I was paying taxes and paying bills from doctor's appointments and just like, it was a heavy computer work and pay tons of money day. So it's like, let's get a Starbucks and like put that behind us. We're gonna go have a good day, but yeah. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome. Welcome, we're happy you're here. My drink tastes so weird after drinking yours. Mmm. You ever like mix syrups and it's just like, your drink's not the same anymore. Yeah, after you having mine. More drink. He likes mine. took some pics on my handy dandy tripod. I'll link this down below for you guys. It is the best. It comes with this like Bluetooth clicker so you can take pictures and like click on the clicker like behind your back or something and it'll like take them for you. So super nice. But I took some pictures just of the tote bag and my coffee. I don't know, just trying to get some like Pinteresty, like more like aesthetic cute shots for like Instagram or just to, like pin or whatever. So I did that like right away. But I haven't been to the warehouse in a hot minute. I'll grab my phone. But I haven't been to the warehouse in a while. Like Devin broke down, sorry the lighting looks terrible, but he broke down all of those boxes and he just got it cleaned up in here. So it looks really good. So I wanna work on like counting, this lighting looks better, um, but I wanna work on like counting sticker inventory and stuff because I know there's a few that like they say they're out on the website, but we do have some left. So I want to get that fixed ASAP so we can get those to you guys if you want them. That's kind of what we're going to work on right now. And then we're probably going to go live like I mentioned too. So I'll give you guys kind of like warehouse updates. So I just recorded like a little TikTok thing, like saying what I'm doing at the warehouse today. I thought that'd be kind of different, like not necessarily a vlog, but like my warehouse to-do list. That would did that. But we need to count inventory. I feel like I've told you guys that like a million times. So I'm gonna work on that 
Do we have a pen anywhere? That's one thing we don't have is like pens here, which makes zero sense if you really think about it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. These are out on the website, but like we have seven of them. Deb is getting the iPad set up. We are actually going to ship orders first. We only have a few to catch up on and then we're going to do make sure like our inventory looks right because Devin brought up the point of if we if like I count the tote bags right now we actually might have a few orders for tote bags like we don't want those numbers to be wrong so we're going to go ahead and ship out the orders we have and then count inventory to make sure it's like accurate numbers which is a good point i got these little pink bags for stickers i don't know if we'll always have these i just kind of randomly bought them and they're so cute so if you buy some stickers i'll put them in a little pink like tool bag it is adorable so this person this is Elena, she got four stickers and then they just fit so perfectly in here. And then to make it even cuter, ooh, should I put the like all things laying in sticker in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then postcard. Okay, this this just got really cute. And then a holographic mailer. And it's all just in there. Is that everything? Yeah. That's so cute. There's nothing wrong with that. Trip me and we all lose track. I wouldn't mind it. If I find it. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't have to be an acrobat. I wouldn't mind it. Should I find it? are permanently damaged because I just tried to take pictures of phone cases on a mirror outside like the sun oh and the sun was just going like bouncing off the mirror into my eyes I was trying to take these pictures and they're like all blotchy so I don't recommend trying that at home kids but we ended up knocking out like the few orders we had and we kind of went through inventory nothing like too crazy we just kind of went through and made sure numbers seemed kind of correct and then I'm gonna go live I think right now just for a few minutes nothing super crazy and see if any of you guys want to place orders and we can pack them for you because i feel like that's really cool like as a customer to like see us actually pack your order so we're gonna go ahead and go live and do that natalie just got this order and look at how cute the colors are together i love it we just got off our live like packing orders and it was so fun to chat with you guys like that made my day so thank you so much if you tuned in that was a blast it was so cool to like be able to pack your orders and just like chat with you guys in general show you guys our products so that was really fun i feel like we need to start doing that more but Deb, are you ready to go home i'm ready i'm ready especially too because i got a notification that our stickers were delivered so that makes me like really want to go home so we are gonna go to the post office and drop off these packages because we live kind of in a weird area where they won't pick up our packages really for us so we just end up taking them ourselves which isn't too bad we just like load up the car but i would say it was successful we kind of went through inventory numbers devin tidied up before we got here like he tidied up a few days ago so it looks really good yeah packed orders was a good time We just got home and I met two puppies outside, so that was really fun. But I have two boxes here. One is stickers, do you guys know? And then the other one is PR from one of my brands. I'm gonna do a live reaction to my stickers. Got lots of stickers. These are just for the outside of our packages because 
we are out of like our roll stickers and they're really nice just to throw on. Let's see the other designs we got. You have what it takes. That is so cute. Wake up and choose positivity. I brought that one back. You guys are getting like a first sneak peek. It's like not focusing. So I'll just like hold up some of the new designs. You guys will have to follow me on Instagram to see them in depth. We brought the smile design back. That one. It's hard to see this one on camera. Lost in a book. That is cute. The way you speak to yourself matters. A little green moment. Little fruit designs. There's so many. I literally can't even show you guys. Okay, so I have another box to open. I've literally just been sitting opening all the stickers for like the past 30 minutes and I already took one of each one for myself. But one more package to open and I know who this is from. Oh, stop it. Wait, this is so cute. Let me show you guys. Is this not the cutest PR package ever? This is so cool. And her little sticker. This is Ava's new merch. Look at the scrunchies. Oh my gosh, I needed more scrunchies. The patterns are so adorable. And all of this like fun little scrunchy things. I'm putting you guys down on the ground because it's easier, but she sent me the cutest little crew neck. Aww. Made to be real with embroidery. And it's so soft, like so comfortable. I love this so much. Thank you so much, Ava. I love it. This is the cutest PR package too. Like, so cute. I love the scrunchies, the sticker, aloha. So cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Already taken one of each design for myself to put somewhere. I'm not going to show you guys though every single design because some of them are actually designs that are going to be on like t-shirts and crewnecks launching soon. So I don't really want to like spoil those designs yet like I would rather you guys see them on like a crew neck first than like the leaked like sticker version so I'm gonna hold off on that but I think I'm gonna post some of those literally on Instagram very soon because I really want to show you guys I love those new designs and I still can't get over this package for me but it's so cute this is so comfortable like I just want to wear it what a good day all right Deb what do you say should we make acai bowls, bowls. yeah Okay, we're gonna make some acai bowls, y'all. We need granola. We need honey. We need Nutella, or knockoff Nutella. Fun fact, Deb and I used to work on an acai bowl food truck together. It's not how we met, we knew each other before that, but we did work on an acai bowl food truck while dating. But it was kind of a fun like summer job, like a food truck. Devin did all the toppings of bowls, like you did granola, like fruits, honey, and then I was the window person. I'm gonna top my bowl. Acai bowls with Nutella is 100% my favorite thing ever. It's so good. Okay, we are gonna go on a quick walk to the dump and like around the trail of our apartment because our trash is stinky and they do not come on Fridays. And I don't want it just like stinking up the apartment. So we're gonna go do that and I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera or like my phone or anything. I just wanna disconnect for the nature. So we'll talk to you guys when we're back. Hello everybody, we have been chilling on the couch watched some YouTube and just like on my phone, just like chill Friday vibes. I wanna take a quick shower because 
it's almost eight and i really 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 want to watch that movie you guys know like i'm so excited just to like see how good it is and like give my review i guess because the plot is so good like regardless of just reading the book before like it's just a good movie so if you guys just want or i guess i shouldn't say it's a good movie because i haven't seen it but the plot is really good so i'm just really excited to see it um but i want to go ahead and take a shower because my hair is so greasy and i just feel like it kind of smell like i got sweaty at the warehouse and like we went on that walk and i just want to be like clean like cozy and relaxed tonight so that's what we're gonna do i always take off my rings before i shower so <laughs> they're like stuck than like a friday night shower like i just feel so relaxed and cozy all right guys i have some sad news i've decided against cookies because we don't really need them and i feel like i'd rather make them like tomorrow or something because the kitchen's kind of messy and i really just want to like relax and watch this movie so i think i'm gonna make a london fog which if you don't know what those are they're really yummy it's like a tea latte basically so it's earl grey tea with milk and vanilla and they taste so good i really really like them so i think i'm gonna do that because that's like a cozy relaxing thing and those do technically have like caffeine in them but it's eight o'clock and i feel like it's not too bad to drink and i'm gonna use i have a handheld frother but i kind of want to just use this one that does it for me this is an espresso one that seriously my family's had for so long my mom actually our old espresso like the little silver and like black one was my mom's and like this came with that and they had it for years and then gave it to us so this ain't old but it froths really well I don't think Nespresso still has like this exact one, but they have one similar. And please ignore how messy the kitchen is. Like, I know it's bad. We, yeah, I need to wipe it down. We've been cooking like every meal at home recently. Like we only eat out really on the weekends. And with cooking every meal, I feel like dishes and the kitchen, like it hits so hard. Recently, I like, or not really recently, like yesterday, I watched a few of Julia and like Hunter Haven's vlogs and they're so like chatty i feel like they don't really cut the videos that much which i know is not everybody's cup of tea like i kind of like a happy like medium like not too cut and edited but like not too lengthy like i want some cuts to like i don't know but their videos are like so relaxing like they'll just like make their breakfast and talk to you as if you were like over at their house like just talking about random topics and like they talk in the car and I kind of like the vibe, so let me know what you guys think of going that route. Like, I would still edit it more than they do, but I just feel like it's nice to talk a little bit more. All right, I'm frothing up some almond milk and a little bit of, like, the Tarani or whatever, like, vanilla syrup. I feel like you can't really see the smug super well, but it's so cute. I love the color of it. I definitely should have done more water. There's, like, not much in here. Rock guys, look at that. Mm, that's some good froth. So I kind of loaded up the dishwasher, brushed my hair finally. Recently, like my ends have been so naughty. I kind of tidied up. Not, it's not clean at all, but I'll have like a little cleaning morning probably tomorrow. But I'm really excited because I just, I'm the type of person where. I can't really relax unless I do the things my brain is thinking about and like big ones for me were kind of like dishes and like tidying up a little bit. So I'm pumped that I can like sit down and relax and enjoy this movie. Have my tea. I'm gonna hit this light. Boom. It's movie night. Y'all woman in the window i feel like such a dork right now like because i read it and i've just been like so excited i like watching Movie movies time. with you it's fine i know we don't always watch movies but we've watched like three in the past month mm -hmm. and it's been on like fun weekends times. yeah but like it's just so nice all right we're gonna go ahead and start peace it out, guys. peace out i'll Movie tell time. you well we'll probably have an intermission for snacks so we'll probably chat part way through the movie but i'll give you guys some tea 
So we had a little movie break and I made some cream of wheats. I don't know if you guys have ever had this. It's like, so yeah, the first time they like puffed up in the microwave and spilled all out the bowl. So the second time I did it kind of correctly, I still put too much water, so it like drained it out. But anyways, it's kind of like oatmeal, like grits vibes, kind of strange, but I ate them growing up. And so it's like comfort food for me. And Devin had frozen waffles with, he put chocolate chips on top of them. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. But I wanted to pull up the camera because I'm like laughing out loud. Devin is coming up with his theories for this movie. I'm just trying, guys. Okay, you have an unfair advantage. And now you guys do too. Listening, like I've almost implied that there's like psychologicalness with it, you know? Like I feel like normal people watching this movie aren't coming up with these theories that you are. Well, I, I saw think, the trailer too. But I feel like you're very hyper-focused on picking something. Normal movies, you aren't this vocal about like coming up with. Mm. I mean, you are, but like, I am. <laughs> yeah. It's just is so funny because as someone who knows how this ends, <laughs> Devin is going to. I'm not gonna say any of them just because I don't want to ruin y'all's trains of thoughts. If you're like watching this, or maybe he's correct, I don't know. But it's just funny to hear like other people's thoughts. So you guys basically need to watch this movie. It's not like. Would you say it's scary so far? We're only 40 minutes in. What so do you think? So far, it's not scary. Just it's like kind of has like suspense built yeah. around it, but nothing scary yet. Mm -mm. Nothing like gory, like really. No, it's really, not going to be a mm -mm. scary movie. I don't think. No, but it's. I'm sure it will ramp up a little bit though. Yeah. So we're a little less than halfway through. So we still have a good bit left. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Because we just took a little snack break in the kitchen and Devin was telling me his theories. And it's just funny when you like know how it ends because I can't really say much about it. <laughs> I just, it's funny. I don't know. But we're enjoying it. It's fun watching the movie. I'm going to keep eating my cream of wheat and watching this movie. So we just finished the movie. I feel like it's kind of blurry because the lighting in here is bad. But I was kind of just telling Devin it was so good. And I feel like they put the movie together really well. Like it was very cinematic. Um, but I'm not like super super happy if you guys have read the book let me know in the comments So like like I just said the movie was amazing. You should 100% watch it if you kind of like thriller vibes But they just like didn't explain the full thing as much like I remember if you've read this book You know, there was a certain part at the end when we started to figure out answers And my heart was just pounding and I like, got scared and I just feel like they didn't play up those parts. I can't say much because I don't want to like have spoilers just because I feel like a lot of you guys will end up watching this. It's like a new Netflix movie. So I can't really say like what I want to right now, but if you read the book, like, you know, so comment down in the, like comment down below what you thought without giving away like spoilers because I don't want to do that for everyone else. But I'm just curious what you guys thought because I feel like they could have given a little bit more at the end. Like I feel like it ended kind of abruptly and I would have liked more dialogue to happen between, I can't say much, but Jordan, what did you think? It was a good movie. Had me guessing the whole time. His answer or his guesses were so funny. Now do you see looking hey, like- Hey, I could make a good movie with my guesses sometime. This is a good movie too. No, it was good. My battery is flashing right Kept now. Kept me guessing and my guesses were wrong. So if that tells you anything, it's a good movie. Yeah. Solid one. I like it. It was pretty good. Books better, of course, it always is. <laughs> I feel like I look so tired, but I'm about to get ready for bed. It's like 12 o'clock, and I probably won't even fall asleep, honestly. Like right away, I kind of just want to like scroll on TikTok and stuff and just relax. Like, there's something about Friday nights where, like, I feel like Deb and I have fully embraced them, and we just. I don't know, we stay home usually, we get cozy. It's just like such a fun little night. I let my hair air dry like during the movie. I feel like it looks a little bit crazy, but I best I cannot talk. I'm like so I best like what? Um what was I even gonna say? Oh I'm going to sleep anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was like pretty chill, 
I feel like I kind of want to do like a weekend in my life or something soon because a lot of like work days and things kind of look the same. My camera died when I was in the bathroom like wrapping up this video so I just wanted to say I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Right now I just watched it all back so I've been like editing and everything and I don't know it just makes me happy. I feel like I'm very much myself in this video and I just want to work on like not cutting out so much and just like not feeling pressured to like go do crazy things for vlogs and just like actually show you guys like Deb and I's life running this business, being married, living in Austin and just like show more of like the realness of life and so so we actually vlogged yesterday so i have another vlog coming up for you guys soon so just make sure to subscribe if you want just fun little lifestyle type vlogs and i love you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed this video talk to you very soon follow me on instagram tiktok pinterest all the things i can link them all down below okay bye